In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to pick up the pressure from Dime 146 in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you guys to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel posts four videos a day on YouTube, and we live stream every single night. And the videos that we post are designed to help you get better at the game through some type of tactic, tip, strategy, breakdown, film study, all that kind of stuff. And so what we're doing today specifically is we're going to be talking about how to pick up a specific pressure that I think is going to become much more popular, especially with some of the latest patch notes. Um, and so if you want to, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. That's going to allow you to know whenever we release a new video. It's also going to allow you to know whenever we go live on our nightly live streams. All right, Dime 146. And we are talking today specifically about like gun spread because I love spread and I don't want to have to devote a lot of resources uh, to picking up a three-man pressure. So this is a simple uh, three-man pressure. This was in the game last year, but basically it's time one for six. All you got to do is turn auto flip off. You're going to come out in the play cover to sink and you're just going to press coverage, spread your defensive line. And I broke this blitz down on my channel. You can check that out, but literally you're just going to slide this guy off the edge. And what you'll see is more times than not, he's going to come through. Now, in practice mode, it's a little bit glitchy. But when you go into game mode, this is going to be very, very, very consistent. This pressure is going to come right in. It's going to scream right off the edge. And you'll see a lot. I think it actually works a little bit better after the latest patch than it was working prior to the patch. Because I think, the, um, I think that they fixed some of the bugs with the contains um, as far as their first step being inside. And on the outside here, though, the contain is going to still loop in, uh, loop in off that edge. Now, basically, the the way that I would pick this up, if you're facing something like this, what you have to understand is, with pass protection in general, you have to understand. You have to ask this question: Where can they hit me from? Right? Where can they get me from? Where can they pick? Where can they um, attack me from? Now, part of this, I would say, is you want to go into practice mode and you want to try out um, your offense against certain meta blitzes that people are going to run. This is one of the blitzes that everyone is going to run. I think I'm getting a little bit of an issue here with the stacking of the guy, but you'll see that this blitz is cons very, very consistent off that left edge. Now again, sometimes it doesn't come in. It is a four-man blitz, but most of the time it has to do with um, partially, I think, too, with the practice mode. If you run the same blitz over and over again, you don't always get in. But you'll see, you'll see it come in here in just a second. We'll we'll run another blitz and then we'll we'll come back into it. But basically, what you want to do um, when you're uh, when you're practicing your setups, when you're practicing your blitz pickups, what you have to ask yourself is you have to ask yourself where is the threat, right? Where's the threat from what they're doing? So uh, when they're running dime one four six, the threat is the slot corner. That corner blitz angle is the threat. It's by far, every single time, that corner is the threat of the defense. So what I like to do, and this is, this is how you know if they're going to, um, this is also part of how you know if they are going to be stacking um, if the blitz is going to come in. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into your play action, or I'm sorry, your pass protection settings by hitting the left L1. So L1 to pick up the pass protection, and then you're going to clip the right stick down, and it's going to allow you to double team somebody. And what I like to do is I like to double team that slot corner on the left. And you'll see here, I'm not going to double team. And you'll see that the pressure is going to come screaming in. As you see right there, the pressure screams in. That's dime 146 in a nutshell. So let me break this down. It's a replay really, really quickly. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about the, the uh, protection scheme. So what they're showing out of dime 146 is you see this right here. You see this quarter stacked. This is the pressure that you have to worry about. As you see right there, you're you're not able to get you're not able to pick it up. Okay, the the ID the mic won't work, and the blitz signals that the linemen are on are good enough that it's going to cause an issue. So what you want to look at here, and what you want to ask yourself, is where are they going to be a threat? Well, within this defense, the biggest threat that you're going to face is the blitz off the left edge. So what I like to do is I like to double team that corner on the left edge, and then I like to ID the backside guy if he blitzes. Now, if he does blitz, that would be a six man. We're gonna show you here a four man pressure, but what you'll see is this blitz is gonna get picked up very, very easy. See here, I have plenty of time to step up in the pocket, deliver a strike to Scotty Miller over the middle for a touchdown. Now, 
What's your what's your um, what the the biggest thing that they're going to be able to do against this is they're going to be able to try to go with a five man pressure off of this edge here. So you see this right in here, and you're going to see we're going to stack both of these guys. Now I want to show you what this looks like. So again, I want to double team there, and then I'm going to ID this backside slot blitzer. And what you'll see at the snap of the ball is he's going to come in with that within that double team feature. He's going to come in. Um, this is a five-man pressure blitz, blitz scheme from Dom 146. So now what you have to wrestle with here is what can I do to stop the five-man pressure? What can I do to get my offensive lineman to do what I know they should already be doing? Well, that's where slide protection comes in. So I'm going to double-team the left guy, and then I'm going to overcompensate and slide backside on the right and ID the right guy. And what you're gonna see here is snap of the ball. You're gonna you're gonna get some gap pressure from that left side guy. With a five man protection, you can't double team anybody because in theory you're then cutting your your um, you're cutting your defense in half. That's why the six man pressure, in my opinion, or I'm sorry, the five man pressure from Diamond Four Six is actually more of an issue to me than the six man pressure. So if you want to pick up the five man pressure from Diamond One Four Six, and this is how you do it. All you're going to do is you're going to double team here. You're going to max protect or block your running back, and then you're going to ID that right side guy. And you'll see here, step of the ball. You're going to be able to step up and have all day uh, to throw the ball in the pocket. You can get the ball out quick, and you're able to deliver the ball. Dive one four six is an issue. Um, it really is because what's going to start happening, what you're going to see people do, is they're literally going to run it almost verbatim like they ran it last year. You're going to start to see people are going to run this defense. Um, at a very high level. You're going to see they're going to man up the running back. They're going to do something like this right here, and then they're going to um, I, they're going to ID that mic. You're going to slide uh, to try to pick up the pressure, and you see here we're still able to get you know a couple guys free. So to me, what you got to understand um, from a blitzing standpoint on the defensive side of the ball, this defense is very, very powerful because of what, it forced, what you force the offense to have to do to pick up that left side pressure. Because that left side pressure is an issue, right, it's going to set up everything that you're doing on the back side. You're only going to need five-man pressure to get this in. Um, and so literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to block my running back, double team here, ID here. But if they man up the running back with their user, you're going to see snap of the ball. He's going to kind of pull him away, and you're going to see there's going to be some pressure to be had. So my point in telling you this is Dime 146 is going to require max protection. Um, the best way that I do it from spread formation, if they're running, if I really truly need to pick up the pressure. Now, most of the time, I don't think you actually do. Um, with the way the flat routes work this year, you can make a quick read against this defense, and I think be for the most part okay. I'm not as worried about the right edge pressure. The right edge pressure is kind of fluky. So what I literally like to do, um, if I'm on offense, is I'm just going to double team that guy on the left side. <sighs> I'm going to ID the guy here, and I'm going to block the running back and send four out. And you're going to see, for the most part, you can pick pressure up. It is The defense is still at a plus one advantage or plus two advantage because they have more players in coverage. But your routes are going to get open at a high level this year. So that's Dime 146 blitz pickup. Um, again, if they – but what, what you're going to have to watch out for, and this is this is to me what you're ultimately what's going to be the biggest challenge with this defense, um, especially if someone that's running this correctly, what you're going to see is – you're going to see them hold the running back with this guy right here. So against the gun spread set, they're going to hold the running back. And it's going to be difficult for me to do it with two controllers. But what you'll see is it becomes a lot harder for the running back to pick up pressure when they man him up with their user. As you see here, um, see how that pressure is going to scream through? Um, the off it kind of glitches out the offensive line a little bit. So what you're going to need to do, the counter to that, is simply to go into some kind of um, max protection type of set or – um, to simply from from shotgun spread, this is what I like to do personally. You can call play action play as well. Um, you'll see that if I call PA read, and then I'm going to block the running back here, and I'm just going to ID this guy on the right, right there, and I'm going to double team this guy right here. Snap of the ball, and you're going to see the pressure is going to get picked up. 
Um, actually, I'm sorry, I did scream through off that right, off that left edge because of that double team. You see that may end up on the running back is going to cause some significant issues, especially if they're running this correctly. Um, what I mean by that is if they're crashing their line to the right, that is what opens up angles for the nose guard to be able to, to really give the offensive line some issues. Um, and so we'll show you here, ID the mic, we're going to slide left, step up in the pocket, and you see there the pressure is still screaming because of that manned up on the running back. Because they're holding that linebacker in the middle, that's going to cause that. So what's your counter to do that? Um, and they are, in theory, they are kind of accounting, you know what I mean? Because they're, they're they're manning up on the running back and then they're going to use her, that, that guy. But what you'll see happen is if I take the tight end on the left side, or on the right side, I'm sorry, and I'm just going to motion him in. So I'm max protecting. I personally think going to play action, you get better blocking this year. Uh, but we're going to max protect, and then all we're going to do is we're not going to double team anybody. We're just going to ID that guy on the right side, snap of the ball, and you're able to have time in the pocket to be able to get the ball out. And they do get a quick shed, but again, you're able to have time to get that quick read out. I guess the Sid 6 meta that I think will start to shift. So anyways, guys, that is Dime 146 Blitz pickup. That's how I would pick it up if I was facing the defense. Dime 146 is coming back. I think people are starting to figure out that the blitzing scheme from Dime 146 is real, and it's going to be very effective in this year's game. So anyways, guys, that is uh, how to stop Dime 146 in a nutshell. Very, very good defense, but you're going to need to do some things with the sliding and with max protection. But anyways, guys, if this video helps you and you're really looking to take your game to the next level, one of the things I do want to encourage you to do is to right now go ahead and jump into my community Discord. My community on Discord is uh, the best possible place for you to get better because, again, you're going to be surrounded by people who are trying to also get better at the game. And so if you want to jump in that Discord, that would be awesome. Um, we're up over 300 members right now. It's been really, really cool. we got a lot of stuff coming for the Discord members, working on some stuff behind the scenes. Um, Discord members will get access to exclusive content that is coming, just trying to get um, trying to get a little bit ahead. I've been a little bit behind lately, but uh, guys, it's just been awesome to see what this community has evolved into. Now, again, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can know that when we go live, and if you really want to take your defense to the next level overnight, one of the things I would encourage you to do is to check out my competitive bundle. Um, my competitive bundle guides on offense and on defense are very, very good concepts, very cutting edge concepts in my opinion uh, on both sides of the ball. So check that out as well. That link is in the description and we will see you guys tonight on our live stream.